We will be setting up both normal and custom Streamlabs alerts for streaming on Facebook and as regulars already know, you're getting the custom graphic for free it's on my Discord. What's up streamers, welcome to my channel. Before setting up the Facebook alerts, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Own.TV. They are a big web shop for stream graphics and they have a lot of designs in many different themes. Once you go on their website, you can browse through a bunch of options and once you find something you might like, you can test out all the different elements by using their preview widget. Paying someone to design a personal overlay can be really expensive and if it isn't expensive, then chances are that it looks very cheap. If you're in that situation, I genuinely think buying an overlay from owned is a very good choice. They also have a stream alert section so if alerts is the only thing you're looking for and you want to follow this setup video after buying some then that's perfectly possible. You can also use my code TVN at checkout which will give you 50% off so if you're on the fence of buying an overlay you should definitely check out their website. Click on the link in my description to take a look. Also, I'm absolute dog shit on Twitter, but I'm learning. So if you want to support me and like some of my tweets to encourage me, then this is my Twitter handle and I will also put the link in the description. The first thing we will be doing is logging in on the Streamlabs website. After going to streamlabs.com, you can click on login in the menu and after that you can choose Facebook. Simply log in with your Facebook account and if this is the first time you're logging in, you'll have to go through a short setup process, but that's very straightforward. When you're on the main page, Page, click on the alert box on the left and that will bring you to the main page of the alert settings. This used to be the only way to set up your alerts online but as you see on the top right you can switch to alert box version 2. At the moment it's in beta but maybe by the time you're seeing this tutorial it'll be completely released already. Anyways we're going to use the updated version to set up these alerts so let's enable it. Right now we are in the global settings but once we click on global event types all alert types will be shown right here and we can change specific settings for each one. But the global settings are important too so let's do those first and before i forget if you already messed with the alerts and something isn't working or you just want to start over you can click on widget themes and then on create a new one give it a name click on create and then click on use to activate it the alert settings you get after clicking on alert box will be the ones of the currently activated widget theme this green window is where we will be able to preview our changes so let's do a quick test we can change the type of the alert we're testing right here and then click on send test to see the result in case your custom graphic which we'll be adding later has a lot of green you can change the background color right here by picking another one and then saving at the bottom the alert delay right here changes the minimum amount of time that's between each alerts to prevent spam on your stream in case there are a lot of alerts that are being triggered the next two settings are to set up your mod delay and this is for people who want to manually check their alerts this is being used in case you want to check if people aren't writing offensive words in their donation messages etc if you select 60 seconds with with this slider then each alert will be delayed by 60 seconds before it shows on your stream. You will see it in your recent events but your stream won't see it yet. This gives you one minute of time to check the alert and possibly cancel it before it actually gets shown on your stream. If you want to be 100% certain that no alert will get shown on your stream before you check it, then you can enable the unlimited alert delay right here and then no alert will ever be shown on your stream unless you've approved it. In case you want to give a moderator permission to handle the alerts for you, then you can go to settings, shared access, my users, add user and then select moderator and click on ok and send this link to a friend or to a moderator. That will give them permission to review incoming alerts together with some other things. Reset stream label sessions automatically. This can stay disabled. If you want to reset them, you can do that in the stream labels program by clicking on restart session. Alert parish should definitely stay disabled because if you enable it, a new alert will interrupt the previous one in case it wasn't finished yet. Reset bit variations is something we might need later and the profanity settings can just stay as they are by default. If you want to add banned words, you can enter them right here and then click on blacklist. Let's go to the donation specific settings. Streamlabs really improve the way you set up your alerts with this new version. So for every alert type right here on the left, you will have general and then specific settings. Now every alert type on the left will have the same options in the general settings. While we still need to set up the general tab for each specific alert, the options which you get are always the same. 
so you change the layout, the image, the sound, the font and the animation. This makes it easy to easily copy most general settings for each alert type and then just change a few things like the image or the sound. The specific settings, those are always unique to each alert. So for example, the donation settings have a lot of options like minimum amount, text to speech, etc. While the Facebook like event has only one simple option, which is what text should appear on the screen. Let's start with the donation alert. This one will trigger every time someone donates to you through the Streamlabs donation page and you can find the link to that in the settings right here. Make sure you don't forget to add your payment method right here, then to change the settings and also to customize it by clicking on customize right here. So back to the donation alert settings, you need to choose your layout and this depends on what type of alert you want. The default ones are like this with an image on top and then text underneath it. But if you want custom alerts, you can choose the middle layout to display text on top of your graphic and then choose your graphic right here. Let me quickly show you how to set up both. So when using default alerts, you can simply change your image right here by hovering the plus icon and then clicking on this upload icon. Now you can just choose a GIF right here or upload your own image by clicking on upload. Let's choose a GIF. Now let's click on save settings and then trigger the alert by clicking on send test and as you see it has been changed. Now if you want custom alerts like this one then you can find your own graphic by some of our sponsor own.tv or you can download my free overlay pack which includes alerts and which is available on my discord server. You can find the link to that in my description. So once you got yourself your graphics, let's hover the plus icon of the image and then go to uploads. Now click on the green text, find your image which is in the alerts folder for those who are using my overlay and then choose one of your alerts. Now select the image, click on the select button and it will be added. Let's click on save settings and then on send test to see what happens. And as you see there are two main things which we need to change right now. First of all, let's click on this middle layout to make sure the text appears on top of the graphic and not underneath it. And second of all, go to the donation tab to change a donation specific setting and then change this message template to name, colon, space and then amount. Click save settings and then click on send test and as you see it's better already. Now let's remove the donation text by going to the donation tab and disabling show message. Now click on save, send test and now the only thing that's left to change is the sound, the text customization and animation and for that we will have to go back to the general tab. Changing the alert sound is done exactly the same way as the image. Just hover the plus icon, click on the upload button and then either choose one of these or upload one of your own using the upload tab. The font settings in the middle, those are pretty straightforward. There are two things you really need to know about this. And the first one is that the fonts right here are all Google fonts. So this means that you can go to Google font, type something in the text box right here and then look for something you like. And you can even change some font properties to find something that's exactly what you want. The second thing is that you should know the difference between font color and font highlight color. They both affect the color of the text you type in the message template, which is what will appear on the screen if the alert gets triggered. The normal font color is a color of any normal text in this message box and then the highlight color is a color of anything that's between parentheses. So change these colors to whatever you like, I like to make them both white since there's enough color in the graphic itself. Then the animation, this allows you to add, enter and leave animations and this applies to the whole alert and not only to the text. As you can see when we select the fade and down option and we trigger the alert. Then the alert duration is pretty straightforward what this means and the text animation, well, this obviously applies animation to the text only. Text delay, this is mostly used for animated alerts that have some kind of intro that need the text to be shown after like one or two seconds. So as I already mentioned during this video, all these general settings that we went over will be the same for all alerts. What won't be the same is the specific settings that we see right here in the general tab. Let's take a look at the specific settings for donations. Now we already changed this message template and disabled the donation message, right? Well, you also have the option to to disable the text to speech and it's right here on the right. Clipping can also be disabled and this is fairly new. Basically what this does is creating a clip every time someone donates to you so you and your viewers can rewatch your reaction to the donations. You can see and set up your own donation page on streammaps.com slash my dash portal. And the specific settings tab right here is also pretty straightforward for all the other alerts so I'm not going over all of them individually. Just read through them and I'm sure that you will know what they do. Now 
Now something else that's important before we add these alerts to our streaming software, I will need to explain what alert variations are. Some people like to add several alert variations and then trigger one of them in specific scenarios. For example, you can have separate alerts for donations that are higher than $20. Hell, you can even have a different alert for $5, $10, $20 and $50 donations. And to be honest, doing this is pretty simple. When you click on add alert variation, you can give it a name and then choose the alert you want to add. So let's call it big dono and then choose donation. Now click on the donation conditions and then right here you need to tell Streamlabs when you want this alert to be triggered. Let's choose donation amount is at least and then enter 50 right here to only trigger this when the donation is higher than $50. You can also add extra conditions so you can really go in depth with this kind of stuff. When you click on save the variation will be made and then you will be able to see the settings on the right. And setting up this variation is just like setting up a normal alert. It's just that this will only show when the donation is bigger than $50 because that's what we did set up. You can also disable this variation for a while and you can also change the condition to trigger this by clicking on this cog icon and then choosing edit. And that's about it for setting up these alerts so let's add them to our streaming software now this part is extremely easy you just copy this url then you go to obs studio or to streamlabs obs you create a new source you choose browser source you paste the url and then you're done if you want to learn more things about streamlabs obs or obs studio i have two big playlists for each of them and they are being updated non-stop every time some feature of these programs get changed i make a new video and then i replace the video in these playlists playlist so it's always up to date and again i suck at tweeting but i'm learning so if you want to support me on twitter and you want to like some of my tweets to encourage me then this is my twitter handle and i will also put the link in the description i would really appreciate a follow thank you so much for watching and i hope that i will see you in one of these two playlists have a nice day